Man, Slick, that was the most lame training session I think I've ever been part of. It looks like you were bored stiff. But, you know, at least it's done now. The first aid was pretty cool. Your life is in my hands, buddy. Uh -oh. So, the guy said to meet him here at 6 a.m. at the North Gate, so we'll see what happens. Whoa, you're the two new hires? Yeah. Did you all have any safety training? Of course. Did they say anything about safety glasses? Well, yeah, I mean, I got these, though. Those are not safety glasses. And your part here has nothing. Do you have any idea what would happen if one of these trucks comes by and pops a rock? No. How about a hard hat? I got mine. That might work in a bar fight, but it's not worth beans here on mine property. How about hard-toed shoes? Uh, I don't think they mentioned that. Well, fellers, I don't think you're ready for work. Get back and get your safety equipment. Just come on back and give it another try. Uh, all right. <laughs> Slick. Slick, Man, I'm right? telling you, you've got to have your safety equipment oh, on around yeah, look here. Look at your eye. Ay, 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 ay. Why aren't they wearing their glasses? They'll put out an eye, and that's not a lie. They may be dummies, not asses. Man, Slick, that's really bad about your eye. I mean, what do you think the odds of that happening were that rock flying up like that? Good thing the safety guy was there to patch you up okay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now we got the glasses, we got the hard hats, so, you know, let's get to work. Hopefully nothing else will happen to you today. So you two are back. Yep. You sure don't look much like miners. We got the hard hats and stuff. Yeah, you've got your safety gear. Report over to the main office. I think the foreman's going to have you shoveling belt line. Belt line? I wanted to drive one of the big trucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, first you're going to learn how to drive a shovel. All right. Let's talk about safety. It's really dumb not to wear personal protective equipment. Okay, what I want you guys to do is I want you to grab these shovels. Uh -huh. I want you to clean up the spillage around this belt, okay? Yeah. Make sure that when you pick up the shovels and you throw it over the top of the conveyor, okay? Okay. Hey, it looks like Slick has on some loose clothing here. Uh -oh. It's probably not a good idea around these conveyors. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll watch out. I mean, if he gets caught anyway, he'll just yank his shirt off. Oh, no, no, no. You're not that tough, all right? If that conveyor grabs your clothing, it's going to take you right into it. Well, all right. Well, I'll just have him be careful. We'll be all right. OK. Well, you guys be safe, all right? Just yeah. think. Safety first, OK? Yeah. Safety first. Jeez. It'll yank you right in there. You think you're tough. You know, you can help me a little bit, Slick. Oh. You know, truck drivers don't put up with this. Oh, they have air conditioning, stereo. Ugh. Well, you know, Slick, I can't reach all the stuff that's underneath this belt. Um, I have to take off the grate real quick. You wait right there. Stay away from the rollers, though, with that baggy shirt. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no, Slick, no, man. No, no, no. Slick. Oh. What'd you do? No, no, oh. no. Oh, no. God. Uh -oh. Oh. No. They are clueless. They are clueless. They don't know what guards are about, that they're meant to keep you out. They are clueless. Conveyors are dangerous. Don't get caught in them or you could lose more than an arm. Man, Slick, I'm so sorry about that. I didn't mean to leave the guard like that. I didn't think it'd suck your arm in. I thought the shirt would come off. I didn't think that guy was telling the truth. OK, oh, that hurt. Okay, I think we got you all stitched up. That baggy shirt was a bad idea, so I got you another one. This one should fit you better. We should be all right, okay? Uh, uh -huh. Oh, man. What happened here? Looks like your partner got a little beat up. That's all right. We got him patched up and back together. We'll be fine. It was nothing. All right. You okay, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, what I want you guys to do next is I want you to go up there and grease that head pulley, all right? All the way at the top. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of safety things I want you to remember about conveyors, all right? Sure. I'm sure that they went over this with you in your training. Yeah, probably. 
I just want to remind you again, though, all right? Uh -huh. So number one is before you get in and around this conveyor, you need to lock it, tag it, and test it out, okay? Okay. Make sure that it's been de-energized. Okay. The other thing I want you to remember is that there's a pull cord, an emergency pull cord on the other side, that should you get in an emergency and you need it, you can pull that cord, all right? Okay. But again, if you lock it, tag it, test it, you shouldn't need that emergency pull cord. Okay? All right. I want you to walk up the belt, but I want you to make sure you have a fall protection harness on. All right? You know okay. what that is, right? No. Okay, that's just a belt with a lanyard. Oh, well, that's what these cables are for. That's what these cables uh, are okay. for. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah, no problem. All right. Before you climb up there, though, I want to make sure that the anti-reversing mechanism up there on that head pulley is engaged so it doesn't roll back on you. Okay. All right? All right. Let me go over here and show you where to lock this out and tag it, all right? Okay. Where the stop button's at. I'm going to show you how to do a proper lockout tag out. Okay. So first thing I want you to do is take that hasp, uh -huh. take that lock, uh -huh. take this tag. All right? First thing we got to do is we got to notify everybody that we're going to shut these conveyors off. Okay. I've already done that for you. All right. Do you remember the meter reading that we saw over there where we had power on the circuit still? Yeah. Okay. Next thing I want you to do is go ahead and shut the power off. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and apply your hasp. Get it here for you, right there. Okay. Go ahead and put your lock on there. Good. Lock it. Put that key in your pocket. Always keep that key with you. Okay. Never let anybody have it. All right? Go ahead and put your name and the date on your tag. Good. Go ahead and attach it to the lock. Very good. Let's go back over to the control room. We'll verify that the power has been shut off with the meter. Mm -hmm. And then we'll hit the start button and see if everything is isolated. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. This is where you shut the conveyor off. Okay. Okay. I want you to make sure that you lock it out, tag it out, test it out. Okay. I want you to also make sure that you don't have two electrical sources powering this conveyor. Make sure that it's not fed from two directions. All right. Okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, no problem. We got it. All right. You guys be safe. Yes, sir. Good Lord. Okay. Well, he wants us to grease his head pulley slick, you know. I don't know about all those fall arresters and backstop and whatever the heck he's talking about. Um, he told us how to turn it on and off, so I'll just give you a ride up there. And uh, you climb on up and just give me a holler when you get to the top, all right? Oh. All right, slick man. Here you go. Just let me know when you're up top. Give me oh, a holler. No, no. Oh, Slick, man. Slick, are you all right? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, just hang on right there. Are you okay? Wiggle your toes if you can hear me. All right, just, just stay there. We'll get someone to come get you. Oh, Slick, man, I'm so sorry about that. You know, I was going to hit the button. You know I, was, I wouldn't do this to you on purpose, but you got to admit, man, she was hot. So, oh, don't give me that look. You would have done the same thing. Careful. All right. Well, these scrapes aren't too bad. Good thing we paid attention in the first aid section. There you two guys are. Uh -oh. Gee, man, hey, the guy just told me over there about the crusher, about that little escapade you just had over there on the conveyor. Well, nobody got killed. You're lucky. You're lucky nobody got killed. You know, you violated everything I told you about safety. You violated everything they told you in the training about safety. I know. I think it's time for you guys to move on. Let's go. You're firing us? Yes, I am. All right, Slick, let's go. Riding conveyors is dumb and dangerous. Be sure you know where the lockout tagout box is and use it. Man, Slick, I can't believe we got fired yesterday. I mean, we didn't even do anything that wrong. You got beat up a little, and I'm sorry about that, but... You know, I'll take care of you today, don't worry about it. This place has a lot more cool stuff to do. You boys, the new hires? Yes, sir. Hmm, 
I sure hope you work better than you look. He's a little accident prone, but it will be all right. Yeah, I can tell. Hmm. Well, according to your papers, it says you got your new minor training. That's right. All right, what do we got here? Looks good. Ted and slick, huh? Okay, well, uh, I hope you understand how to work safely. You know, we can't use any dummies. I think we'll be okay. I'll tell you what, young man. I need you to report over to the pit foreman over yonder. And I need you to be especially careful. There's a lot of heavy traffic. Uh -oh. All right. All right? No you problem. guys be extra careful. All right. Thanks. Be extra careful? Come on, it's just trucks. Oh, boy. I don't know about these guys. Coming around the stockpile when they come, when they come, they'll, they'll be, be burning, burning rubber in the hot day sun, hot day sun. They ain't looking for the loaders, can't they hear them big old motors? They'll, they'll be coming around the stockpile when they come. Moving vehicles are hazardous to pedestrians. Make sure operators can see you or you'll become a target. Man, Slick, I'm so sorry about that. I thought he saw us get clear. What are the odds of that happening? What the heck's going on around here? Didn't I tell you guys to be careful around all this heavy traffic? Yeah. What's wrong with your partner? Is he all right? He banged his neck up a little bit, but he'll be all right. Oh my gosh, I think I need to cover a few things with you guys. We gotta cover some safety points. Okay, you guys, listen up. When you're working around this heavy equipment, you gotta make sure that you're seen by the operators of these heavy equipment. And you gotta listen. You gotta listen for these backup alarms. And you got to stay out of all these restricted areas. And when you're working around this heavy equipment, you got to watch out for these pinch points. That's what that warning sign says. You can be cut in half if you're not paying attention. And another thing, leaning up against this tire isn't a very good idea. Don't you know that those rims can blow up and get you? Come on, let's get out of here. You guys need to pay more attention to what you're doing. <laughs> I told you something's going to happen. <sighs> Standing by inflated tires, the boys are surely thoughtless. Expanding air and hardened steel might make them cautious. Large high-pressure tires can explode. Be careful around them. Man, it's like I'm really sorry about your leg. Those tires really are dangerous, but it's okay. It's just a little cut. You'll be all right. There you guys are. I reported that accident. Hey, come away from that front of that vehicle. Come over here, I gotta talk to you guys. You know, you need to be more careful as to what you're doing. You need to pay more attention. You can't be in front of that vehicle. That operator can't see you. Even though the truck is so big, it still has a lot of blind spots. And any kind, anytime that a vehicle's on an incline, it can still roll. You can't be in front of those vehicles. You, need, you boys need to pay a little bit more attention. All right. All right, well, go ahead and go over to the pit foreman there and get to work over there. Will All do. right. Ow. You know, Slick, it's a long way to that pit, and I don't know about you, but I'm tired of getting run over, so let's just hop in this truck and get over there. They're going to have to see us if we're in one of these things. Oh, no. Ow. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? I'm just going to head over to the pit. You're not going in this truck. You haven't been test trained. Well, it's just a truck. Come on. It's only like a half mile. No, I don't think so. 
You know what? You boys, Jason, are gonna cut it in this outfit. You just don't have a safety frame of mind. Oh, you're firing us? Come on, oh. let's go. Come on, Slick. Never operate equipment or vehicles you aren't trained on. It's dangerous to you and everyone around you. Man, Slick, I can't believe you got us fired yesterday. Well, let's see, this place should work out a little better for us. Let's check our gear before we go in, make sure we don't get fired right off the bat this time. We've got our safety glasses. Yep. We have steel-toed boots. Mm -hmm. We both got our hard hats. Check. We've got our hearing protection. Yep. We even have respirators if we need them. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we're ready. Let's go to work. Well, so let's come here and wait for the supervisor over here, Slick. I'm sure today's gonna be a lot easier uh -oh. on you. Well, uh, they said we're gonna be lurking with electrical, so, uh -oh. you know, probably not a lot of sun time. So we'll just have to go over here and check him out, see what he's doing. Well, Yay! I don't see a supervisor. I'm gonna wait in the shade where it's cooler until he gets here. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Get out of there. God, you want to get electrocuted? It's three phase oh. power. Very dangerous. Get over here. Do you know anything about electrical safety? We did lockout tagout yesterday. That's good. Lockout tagout is very important. People get killed every year. Electrical accidents. There's a few things we've got to go over since you're going to be doing a lot of shoveling here. There's a lot of cables on the ground. You better know where these cables are when they're under the dirt. It's three-phase power. You'll be a crispy critter you hit one of these babies. You never want to walk on them. You certainly never drive over them. You can uh, split them on the inside, causes a short. Splices, avoid splices that are in the water. Let your supervisor know anytime you see a splice cable in the water. There's a lot of electrical uh, lines overhead. You have to be careful about them too. Of course, the only electrical work you guys are going to be doing is changing a light bulb now and then. Well, I can handle that. <laughs> Not your regular 110 light bulb. These are light bulbs that are up high. You have to get in a man basket, tie off, task train. Speaking of training, it doesn't sound like you've paid attention to your training. I really don't need you at this plant. Why don't you go find the truck boss? Oh, all right. Zap, 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 boom, DA. Zap, 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 boom, DA. They'll find that 20 amps will more than fill their pants. Zap, 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 boom, DA. Zap, 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 boom, DA. They'll find that that old splice won't treat them very nice. Zap, 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 boom, DA. Zap, 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 boom, DA. It won't take many volts to prove that they're both dolts. Electricity can kill you. Be cautious around cables, generators, and power sources. Well, Slick, I didn't see the truck boss down in the yard. Maybe we can spot him from up here. Oh, wow, cool. Check that out. Uh-oh. Well, hey, I'll tell you what. You stay here and look for him. I'm going to go back down to the bottom and see if he's in the yard now, all right? Uh Take care. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. He'll turn through the screw with the greatest of ease. Our daring young hero will soon get the squeeze. He'll twist and he'll turn and he'll fill with desire. For the safety he learned in his class for new hires. Slick! Slick, hang on, man. Oh, Slick, hang on. We'll get you down. We'll get you down. Oh, man. Oh. I don't know what happened there. You probably should have tied off. But you know what? No one saw that except us, so let's just keep that between you and me. I got you all patched up here, so let's uh, let's go find that truck boss. Oh. Oh. It's falling apart, Slick. Fall protection can save your life. Use it when working in high locations. Well, Slick, I still don't see that truck boss, but let's get up here. Maybe we can see him from here. Ugh. Yeah, this is pretty high up. Well, I'll tell you what, you look over this way, and I'll head over to the other pile over there and see if I can see him. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. 
Let me dust you off here, man. That was a really close one. Mm-hmm. Hello, gentlemen. What are you doing here on the property? Uh, we're looking for the truck boss. Have you seen him? Well, you found her. You're the truck boss? You got a problem with that? Uh-oh. Oh, slick. Uh, no, no. Why don't you gentlemen step away here from the surge pile? Got a few things to explain to you. OK. Let me tell you a little bit about surge piles draws down from the bottom, and it mirrors itself on top with the cone. You also may form a bridge, material that actually looks solid. It is not. Hmm. It then draws itself up through the conveyor. It's also put down with a little bit of moisture. And as it starts to dry out, it forms the angle of repose. You know what the angle of repose is, right? No. Well, that's the natural angle the material wants to take. And as it starts to dry out, the toe actually may slough out. So even when it looks solid, it could move just like that. Hmm. Sounds like what happened to you, Slick. Mm -hmm. What happened to Slick? Well, we were just kind of up on the edge walking along and... You were up on the surge pile. Just for a minute. Oh, no. No, no, no. That cannot happen. Do you have any idea if you got sucked down through what would have occurred? You would have been completely engulfed by material, and you know how you die? A slow, suffocating death. Well, nothing happened. We're okay. No, no. You, out of here. Both of you. Hike your butts out. You're going to fire me for climbing on a pile of dirt? A pile of dirt that could move just like that. This is your lucky day, sir. You are fired. Out. But we just got here. Leave. <coughs> Surge piles can bridge over, hiding danger. Don't walk or drive over them. Well, Slick, we've been fired from every single mine we worked at. Man, we better not screw up today. Can you believe it, Slick? We've made it half a day and we haven't been fired yet. More importantly, you haven't been injured. But it's lunchtime, man, and I need someplace shady because I am hot. Let's head over here. Oh, so slick. I got a couple things for lunch here. Two of the basic food groups, sugar and caffeine. Uh -huh. So let me know if you want anything. Mm. Slick, look at this. It's the wild, voracious North American timber rattler, and he's a beauty. Careful now, he's angry, he's kind of angry. We've invaded his home territory, so just be calm. Oh, oh, come on. I'm just playing around with you. Take a joke, man. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? This horse play, you don't do that around the, on a mine property. Well, I'm just giving him a hard time. He's afraid of snakes. What are you guys doing sitting right here? It's shady, man. I'm eating lunch. Look above your head. See this crack above you? Yeah? I could come down any any time on you. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Well, I mean, it looks, I mean, it hasn't moved all day. A loader, vibration of a loader coming by could make it come down. So we need to find a different place for shade. You need to move your buddy because it's already slough coming down. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, your buddy just got nailed there with a big rock. Slick, man, I told you to get out of the way. Oh. High walls are very dangerous. They can fail without warning, killing or injuring anyone nearby. Stay away. See, high walls ain't a very good place to be laying. Yeah. They can come down on you at any time, and he's a snake. Let's get the way. Did you just hear anything we just discussed about the high wall? Well, what am I supposed to do, man? I didn't want to get run over by the loader. We ran into one of those yesterday. Yeah. Now you're against a high wall and a heavy piece of equipment with no place to go. Let's get your lunch. Let's find a safer place for you to take your lunch. All right. <laughs> I couldn't help notice your lunch you brought today there. You need yeah. to, that caffeine ain't very good for working out in the sun all day. For your lunch, you need more nutritious lunch than just a candy bar. Oh. You really got no nutrition value there for a, if you have to work all day. Yeah. You need to really get a better lunch. Hey, you need to have water on a day like today, and that caffeine will not really do much for you on, make you thirsty and. Yeah, thanks though. 
I know you boys were just looking for a shady spot, but the high wall is not the place for a shade, and this loader ain't. You need to stay away from tires, buckets. Basically, you're the ones that should be in charge of your own safety. You need to look out for yourself and others. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Oh, geez, Slick, we better get back to work, man, before they come looking for us. I don't know about you, but I'm still hungry. No machine operates well without proper fuel. Neither can you. Good nutrition and plenty of water are important. Man, Slick, I am so hot. I can't even think. Let's take my shirt off for a while and cool off. Maybe I'll start on my tan. Hey, you boys shouldn't be out here without a shirt on. Sun's pretty strong. Could get sunburn, heat stroke. Oh, okay. When you work outside, you gotta protect yourself from the heat and the cold. Be aware of your environment, look around. There could be bugs, snakes. You may be allergic to something, bees or whatever. Um, you need to be aware of your, where your surroundings. If thunderstorms come up, you need to get away from the equipment. Yeah. If a dust storm hits, you need to protect yourself from that or get out of it, put a dust mask on. But right now, you need to get in the shade and uh, get your shirt on and get cooled down. Sounds like a good idea. Working outside can be hazardous. Protect yourself from heat and cold, storms, and harmful critters. Well, Slick, no sunburns for us, but I still need to cool off. This pond looks like a good place. Let's cool off here. Uh-oh. Let's see that half gainer with a twist you're always talking about. Oh, no. My buddy swam out in the water. To cool down was his only plea. Only plea. The branches and shrubs neath the water. I'm thinking that he failed to see. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my buddy to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my buddy to me. Glob, glob. Oh, Slick. Man, why didn't you tell me you didn't know how to swim? I don't know. Jeez. So I guess all that talk about being an Olympic diver was just bar talk, huh? Uh-oh. What are you guys doing in that pond? Just cooling off. You guys need to get out of there. Don't you know it's against company policy to be swimming in that pond? Well, we're just trying to cool off, man. He's all right. We got him out okay. You know how many people drown in mine ponds every year? No. Ain't no way you're going to float without a flotation device with all that gear you got on there. Well, we just went in real quick. I mean, he just kind of got wet and we pulled him out. He's all right. Some places mine underwater ponds like this off of a dredge. Uh, you got to be careful when you're on a dredge. You got to make sure you got your flotation devices on and Watch out for cables. They start whipping around. Sometimes they break. They can hurt you bad. Well, you know, I don't know. He just went in barely. He'll dry off. We'll be all right. Okay, right now you need to get back to work. It's almost quitting time. Okay. People drown in mine ponds every year. Stay safe. Stay away from them. What a week. We got fired from three different places before we finally realized that staying alive isn't easy in a place like this. We should have paid more attention in our training classes. I thought these guys were putting it on just because Emsha makes them do it. But it's a really good idea. We had to learn the hard way. What a couple of dummies. But now we know enough to realize that moving vehicles can kill you. Conveyors can rip you to pieces. Electricity can barbecue you. Stockpiles can bury you. If you're working up high, then you better tie off. And pit walls can drop rocks on you. We also know enough to have the proper safety gear, including respirators, before we come onto the property. And enough water to make it through the day. We know enough to protect ourselves from the weather, whether it's hot or cold, thunderstorms or wind, and to make sure we have protection against critters if we need it. We know that if we want to go swimming, this isn't the place to do it. Well, buddy, it's been a tough week. And you know, I'm kind of thinking this can be a dangerous job if you don't keep paying attention. Hey, old 
up there a minute. Looks like you guys had a tough week. Yeah. You know, I've been doing some checking and I found that you've been fired from every mine in the county. Well, but we learned something every place we were at. You know, have you guys thought about taking up a new line of work? Well, Slick, we could always try underground mining. I think that would be a good idea. No, 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 no. Good luck to you. Dude! Well, Slick, no sunburns for us, but I still need to cool off. This lake looks like a good place. It's a pond, not a lake, it's a pond. We need to cool off in this lake right here, man. Why didn't you tell me you didn't know how to swim, man? He doesn't sink, he floats. What are you doing here on the property? Uh, we're looking for the trust, no. <laughs> but it looks like it's just a little... <laughs> okay. Yep. Ready? Zap, 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 boom, DA. They'll find that 20 volts. Well, more boom, DA. And it won't take many volts to prove that they're both jolts. You guys need to pay more attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you know, that's what that sign tells you. You can get squashed in half here. If you're not paying attention, you can get chopped in half. First thing we want to do is just notify everybody that we've shut down this equipment and okay. let them know that we've, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> and as that moisture starts to draw out of the material, it dries out and you'll re What happened to Slick? Well, he was, dust he kind of slid on there and so it went up underneath him. So he was probably getting drawn down. Oh, son. Can I fire him? That's good. That's very important. People get killed every year with electrical hazards and electrical electrocution. The lockout tag out is very important. People get killed every year with electrical electrocution. Uh, <laughs> basically, you're you're the one that's. Basically, you're involved. You're the one. Basically, you're the one that needs to be aware of your own safety. Take care of your look at your surroundings. Uh, you need to be aware of your where your surroundings. If thunderstorms come up, you need to get away from the equipment. Um, I forgot. You know, maybe you guys might think about... Take! <laughs> <laughs>